India has successfully test fired the Agni Prime new generation ballistic missile from a mobile launcher today. During the test flight, the missile traveled the maximum range of 2000 kilometers and all test objectives were successfully met. Defense officials have said that with this third consecutive successful flight test of the Agni Prime missile, the accuracy and reliability of the system has been established. The project director of Tejas Mark II program has said that the General Electric F-440 INS-6 engine will be manufactured in India with 100% transfer of manufacturing technology that will contribute to increasing the indigenous content of the Tejas Mark II to over 90%. The MOU with the GE to manufacture the engine with 100% manufacturing technology will contribute the U.S. firm will hold the intellectual property rights and critical technology, and the locally manufactured F-414 engines will be equipped on 120 Tejas Mark II and 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets. He also said that the rollout of the first Tejas Mark II prototype has been rescheduled to December 2023, and in the worst-case scenario, the rollout will take place by March 2024. The Aeronautical Development Agency is targeting the first flight by December 2024, and four prototypes will be ready by 2027. India is also in discussions with French firm Safran and UK's Rolls-Royce, to develop a 120 kN engine by 2030, for 80 AMCA Mark II fighter jets. Bharat Dynamics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with French firm Dassault Aviation at the Defence Expo 2022, for the integration of Bharat Dynamics developed weapon systems like Astra Mark I Mark II and Mark III missiles and saw weapon on the Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. This is a very significant development, as it will also open avenues for export of the Indian weapons package to friendly countries that operate the French Rafale aircraft like Egypt, UAE and Greece. The Indian Air Force and Hindustan Aeronautics have signed a 6,800 crore rupees contract for 70 HTT-40 indigenous basic trainer aircraft at the ongoing Defence Expo. Officials have said, that the HTT-40 has over 60% level of indigenization, and the production of these 70 units will take place at HALS 2 manufacturing units at Bangalore and Nashik. The Indian Army has ordered more M4 mine protected high mobility armored personnel carriers from Bharat Forge, that will come integrated with the Israeli spike anti-tank guided missiles. The Army is also looking at the possibility of increasing the caliber of the 7.62mm gun to a 20mm gun with an automatic turret in the newly ordered vehicles. The RDO officials have said that two modified Su-30 fighters will soon commence the developmental trials of the air-launched Rudrim-2 missile. The 300 km range Rudram 2 will have a peak speed of Mach 5.5, and a terminal stage speed of Mach 0.9, because of intense maneuvering to defeat enemy air defense systems, and will be operational with Su-30 and Mirage 2000 aircraft. UAE firm Caracal has signed a partnership agreement with the Indian firm Icomtel Limited, to manufacture the complete line of Caracal rifles at its Hyderabad facility for the Indian Armed Forces and international export. Caracal is already sourcing over 50% of components from India, for its carbines and snipers that are being manufactured in its factory in the UAE. Garuda Aerospace has signed an agreement with Israel's Elbit Systems, to provide Skylark 3 unmanned aerial system for the Indian market. The Skylark 3 is a tactical mini UAV system with a range of 100 km, an endurance of 6 hours and a service ceiling of 15,000 feet, and provides intelligence surveillance and target acquisition capabilities during both day and night conditions. 
Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Indian Navy to support maintenance, repair and overhaul of RD-33 engines of Indian Navy's MiG-29K fighter jets. Hindustan Aeronautics will be positioning its team at Naval Aircraft Yard in Goa for supporting maintenance and repair of engines and imparting specialized training at Indian Navy's Naval Institute of Aeronautical Technology in Kochi. A high-level Argentinian delegation led by Joint Chief of Staff of the Argentine Armed Forces visited the pavilion of Hindustan Aeronautics at the Defense Expo, where they were briefed on the Tejas aircraft and Prachand light combat helicopter, and about the various futuristic defense products displayed at the event. A top Egyptian delegation led by Chief of Staff of Egyptian Air Force were also briefed on the Tejas and the Prachand helicopter. Thank <laughs> you.